I think my favorite part of the video was the samples that they were showing of what to do that worked with police and what they do that didn't, wasn't necessarily the most effective thing to do police and people's reaction to that. They gave a lot of great legal advice to actual real incidents that happen out there every day to people, especially people of color. It showed us the importance of remaining calm, you know, being intelligent and thinking about how can I get out of the situation alive. When the police tried to search the home saying it was part of the community, trying to keep it safe, and you can deny them at the door. That's something that not a lot of people know. Like, I didn't know that, you know, if police come, I don't have to let them in. I can tell them no. They do knock on doors just to say, we're just in the community, can we come in? So I know to say no. I thought that it was all really relevant, um, and I feel prepared now if, if there is a situation where I encountered a police officer, um, I think that I would know how to handle that. Even if I was seeing someone else get stopped by the police, I know how to be uh, kind of a responsible citizen bystander. So I appreciated um, that level of richness, that level of um, real honesty and transparency. I think that's particularly useful for young people who are really trying to grapple with the issue of how to deal with the police. The young person coming out of, a, say, a high school level should understand his constitutional rights. You brought out so many issues that should just be a part of our very fabric as human beings in this country. We give um, trainings on knowing your rights to hundreds of students every single year. Um, and we use the Flex Your Rights scenarios as sort of kickstarters for students to do role play. They can imitate it and they can change different aspects and, and sort of apply the skills that we're teaching them about. Information that you espouse in that documentary, in that film, where um, with uh, Billy Murphy was invaluable. I think you was ahead of your time and your foresight. And um, now that we're in this current political climate where it's now come to a head with police misconduct and abuse cases across America that have not been rectified or have not been addressed, we have to at least have this as civic education to begin to educate our young people on how to deal with the police because they are trained to take advantage on what the citizenry do not know.